Hello. I'm just trying to think of what to say. Um, so I guess for me, as I said at the start, it's like uh, I've got a, two or three coloured pencils of a, a 12 set pencil set and I really wanted to fill my pencil box with more colours. Uh, and that's exactly what you've done for me over the last couple of days. It's uh, been really nice to immerse into what the material uh, of men's health is um, and to, to my lay, I lay some fears of where I'm up to and now I'm on the right track. Um, but yeah, great explanation. Um, and I really like the online aspect to it as well. Like I walked away yesterday and I think that uh, being able to just sit here and take in the material has, has been really beneficial, so thanks. Oh no, thank you and thank you. Th and thank you for all your input as well. And the Eurolog, that was brilliant. Not a problem. No right, uh, Emily, as you're, as you're sitting next to him. Um, yeah, I found it really, really helpful. Um, just gave a really good overview of uh, like quite a few conditions that I've either heard about or I have seen some of. But um, yeah, like what Jamie was saying, good to add more um, pencils um, to, you know, more colours um, or, you know, tools to the toolbox just to be able to um, yeah, put into practice with patients. Brilliant. Thank you for that and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And then Olivia. Unmuted. No, no, you're fine. Um, I'm good. Um, no, that was great, Jared. I, for, I know Ainsley's gone because her kids were annoying you. Um, but from both of us, Lovely really, that was, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. It's really hard for us down this part of the world to get people like you to, you know, to come out and see us face to face. So online has been perfect for, for us. Um, and content wise, everything we kind of really wanted to cover just to get some, you know, some basic men's stuff, know we're on the right path. Um, both of us have been doing so much in the way of women's health. Um, I think a lot of stuff you said, there's so much overlap in the pelvic pain from what we've been doing to, to what even, you know, you've been doing with a lot of these guys. So that was really good to reaffirm that we're on the right track. Um, yeah, so brilliant. I think we need to just go away now and you have a wee chat to our urologists and things and just make sure that um, they actually know that we're here because um, as Ainsley said before they don't really know that we're there and what we do so thank you very much. Yeah and it's brilliant you've got but there are both of you because that that just makes it it's, it's good to have that kind of immediate support and then yep. Emma I probably have to say the same as everyone else, but especially the part that you made it very relatable to things that we'd know as MSK physios and things we'd know from working with women. Um, it's nice to see that transfer of skills across the way. Um, and I just found you, you were very easy to have a conversation with as well. You left things very open for people to get involved, um, which I found in other online classes they aren't as good at. So that was a really nice part that you, I felt that I could ask questions. And thank you for your input as well. And then Callum. Hi. Um, yeah, I think it was really good. I sort of came into this having absolutely no pelvic health experience. Um, it's just an area that I'm interested in. So probably on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of how much I know compared to everybody else here. But I still took a lot out of it, just as I think everyone else did. Um, I found it hard to sort of know even where to start in terms of upskilling in this area so I think the online forum was really good um, I had a few phone calls to different physios working in the field across um, the state and yeah they all recommended doing this so that was nice to actually get involved and be able to chat and communicate with everyone as well yeah and it's brilliant that you've done it because we, we need more young male physios involved like so that and, yeah. and thank you and thank you and, and at least you're in somewhere like Melbourne where there is a big pelvic health community. And then, uh, Kayla. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for doing it in my time zone. 
That was awesome um, because I have done a couple of courses throughout the night like you are, and that's a bit tough. Um, but I probably, my take home from it, which I found really helpful, was just, um, I guess, just tweaking my practice and having, um, you know, some different protocols to work from and thinking about different aspects of a protocol that I hadn't really thought of um, in terms of intensity and, you know, really gradually. Uh, building the patient up um, I also found it really helpful doing like the sporting pelvic pain because I hadn't even that hadn't really even registered with me at all because I do do a little bit of musculoskeletal but I hadn't even made that connection um, between like people actually potentially having pelvic issues and presenting with ongoing groin pain um, so yeah I found it really beneficial thank you so much for that Brilliant. And thank you for your time. Thank you. And then almost at the end, guys, then why don't we come to Yolanda next and then we'll be down to the three of you. Yolanda is obviously from Canada. Hi. And yeah, thank you. I uh, started the course at three o'clock here, so it's almost seven or ten tonight. So, But my take home is even though I've been working in the field so long, when I first started, there wasn't any resources for somebody in Calgary, Alberta to get for men's health. So online forums are great. And I've been following you for a couple of years now. And it's awesome that I could actually take a one on one or, or live session, which is very beneficial to be able to tweak my practice as well, and see how everyone around the world is doing and, and seeing so many more men getting into the field is amazing as well. Brilliant, and it's good. It's good to meet you as well because it's like meeting a. It's like meeting a celebrity meeting you. Why? And then, well, all the online stuff you do, and then Angela, who's Angela, who's who's from near me in the UK. Yeah, I find it really, really useful. Um, similar to what Leonardo said, it's interesting to see what people are doing the other side of the world as well, and how it compares to us. I thought it was really nice how you related it back to your own real life patients all the time. So I'm, I'm new to men's health, so it's good to, to kind of know that there is an overlap with the women's, but now that I'm on the right track as well. Um, yeah, it was really nice to, to, for you to talk through those. Um, and yeah, I find it really useful online, although it is the middle of the night. It's working yeah. really well. <laughs> I, I didn't expect to see you here, actually. So that, that is Andrew. Because that that <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's also um, got a one year old. So yeah, yeah so we I'm need to the late nights anyway. <laughs> catch up in the West Midlands. And then yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, that would be good. That would be good. And then Ryan. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh thanks, Jared. Thanks again for spending the time to, to deliver the course to us. And definitely agree to Andrew and Callum as well. Fairly new to men's health physiotherapy. And we don't really have a lot of men's health um physio that deliver courses here in Melbourne, I think. Um, so it's de yeah, definitely quite nice to, to do this with you online and definitely learned quite a fair bit of things here with you and can definitely start practicing a little bit in terms of like um, incorporating some of the subject history assessment as well um, to help some of my patient with like testicular pain and things like that. So it has been really great, Jared. thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for your, uh, at least as a bit like Callum, at least you guys are in a big, you know, uh, city where you've got a good strong pelvic health community and then finally tina who's very excited because she's in new york a new president yes thank you guys um thank you jerry for um delivering such a brilliant course um i totally enjoyed it you were very open to answer many of my questions sorry thank, i hope i didn't take up too much no, of your you time the, no thank you thank you um, I am so excited to go back to the clinic and work with my male pelvic patients. This is my first pel male pelvic course, so uh, I think I will be taking a lot more after this course. Brilliant, because yeah, we need we need more people treating the men. Guys, have a wonderful afternoon, stroke, late evening, night. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll send all this stuff through to you tomorrow. So you've got it all. And I'll send, I'll also send the ultrasound stuff and 
see how you and if you've got any queries about anything drop me an email or connect on social media and thank you again and uh have a good day thank you thank you bye bye, bye. bye.